Welcome, everybody, to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is, it's a freaking holiday, not a reason to get smoked. I'm just going to be straight to the point on this one today. Uh, sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So this morning as I was sitting down doing my uh, my morning stuff that I do, right, writing out my goals, my discipline, the things that help me get throughout my day to be able to produce on the level that I want to produce on. Um, I was thinking back to a couple days ago, we were doing a marketing meeting at my office, my, my team, myself, and my nephew happened to be at work that day. And we we're coming up with topics of headlines for the videos and things I do. And my nephew, he's 10, he's going to be 11 years old. And his, he goes, uh, wonder if these guys are going to be so drunk. They think it's, they don't even realize it's a holiday, you know? And, and I thought about that for a second, little does he know in his earlier years in life, his family didn't really want me around. You know, I am his godfather. I'm his uncle. I'm, I'm literally like, you know, a, a very significant man in this kid's life. And there was a time in my life when his parents probably didn't even want them around me. Right now his brother's back and his works with me and, uh, or I should say his brother, my brother, his dad's back and works with me and trust me and shit like that. But I had earned that. And, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? This kid's got it. He's got something here. I started of thinking back for the past week or two, however long it's been since we had that that conversation. And I was thinking about all the times in my life that I'd successfully got smoked through anything. I I can remember going to certain places like Oak Park for some fireworks. And then once I get there, I don't remember anything, but what I was told was a good time. Christmas is that I was ruined. Fourth of July is where I would buy hundreds and hundreds of dollars of fireworks and then get so drunk. I couldn't even fucking blow them off. I remember distinctly my brother coming into my house when I was all fucked up after a major relapse, grabbing my things and says, fuck you, you don't need these. You're not going to do anything with them anyways. You're not going to blow them off your kid. He took them and left me high and dry, straight up, asked him about it. Just took my fireworks and disappeared. And I thought about this. And I realized, why? Why did I do that? Because every single time that there'd be an event, something that was like normal people, not that I'm not normal now, but in the normal people world, they would understand that it's a get together. It's a reason for them to have fun. It's you're celebrating America's birthday. You're it's Christmas. It's uh, you know, it's a three year old birthday party. The definitive outcome that people wanted on wanted to get on that was bigger than them having a fucking drink. But in my life, I had made it to the point where drinking was just hand in hand with everything I did. I would drink on a level of probably would make every single one of you guys listening to this absolutely fucking sick. 50 to 60 drinks a day, tons of cocaine, whatever drug, if I couldn't get cocaine, any other drug I could get my hands on, I did not give a fuck. And then when those, these big things would come around, these events, I didn't care about the event. I cared about how fucked up could I get? So the, the moral of the story here for you is selfishness. If you're planning out this week and you're putting any thought, any emphasis on the fact that, you know what, I got to make sure I got my beers, I got to make sure I got, that's fine. You can drink and you know I promote control. But if your whole objective here and you got kids at home, you got family, you got people waiting for you, and you got people that want to have fun with you and love you and, and they'd be amazing around you and your company and they actually want to, to spend time with you. But your whole desire here is like, man, how many drinks can I have? How fucked up can I get? I want to get on the boat. I'm going to slip. I'm going to break my nose or whatever the fuck's going to happen. Your priorities aren't straight. The definitive outcome that you want is to get fucked up and that is selfish. And I don't care. I don't care if you want to get drunk. That's fine. But you got to own it. Don't blame it on your kids. Don't blame it on your business. Don't blame it on stress. Don't blame it on on fuck your wife. Don't blame it on your high school buddies. You're 43 years old. Step up and own the reason why you want to get drunk. It's because you are selfish and you want to do it today. Tomorrow, whatever, 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 4th of July is in two days. That's one of the first steps you got to take. You've got to realize that you're in control. It's your choice. When I was in control of those things and everything I did, man, I wanted to show off. I could buy everything. I could, I would have the best fireworks. I'd have them show up, party, buy drinks, everything. I was actually internally looking for people to feed my ego, boost my confidence because I was fucking broken inside. I didn't look at it for what it is. I didn't look at it for what it is today. Last time we spent $400 on fireworks. Not a huge amount of money, but we're going to have a party. There's going to be a bunch of kids. My brother, everyone's going to come over. We're going to blow them off. 
And the outcome that I want is people to have some cheeseburgers, some hot dogs, celebrate America's birthday because this is the greatest country in the world. Have fun, make memories. If people want to drink a couple drinks in my house, go ahead. I won't be drinking because you want to know why? I want to make sure that I'm in control of my thoughts, emotions, actions to watch the kids smiles on their face as they're lighting off smoke bombs, as they're lighting off sparklers, and enjoying the purpose of life. My, my friend, I'm not trying to harp at you, or, or nor do I really care what you want to do here. I just want you to own up to the decision today. I can tell you from my personal experience that these memories that I don't have, only the things that my friends told me, the things that they told me are not good. The things that they told me would make my mom sick. The things that they told me were just of me abusing my body and beating the shit out of myself, saying things that I didn't fucking mean, or maybe I did mean them at the time, and becoming a person that I wasn't. Not remembering anything from the nights that we pretty much live our lives for. And it hurts. My question to you is this. It's a very simple one. Are you going to show up this year for your family? Are you going to show up for yourself? Are you going to show up for your friends? Are you going to reach your potential? Are you going to be the man that you want to be? Smile and celebrate and remember it. Or are you going to blame it on your business? Are you going to blame it on your kids? Are you going to start a fight? Are you going to drink yourself into oblivion? Wake up with a hangover? Hate your life? The choice is yours. But no matter what, well, you always say here, you got to make a choice. And if you're ready to make that choice, you can go ahead and fill the application. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. If you're hearing this for the first time, myself or my team will reach out to you and we'll set up a time to see if we can help you in any way, shape or form. We will leave you better than we found you. And no matter what, even if you fuck up this weekend, even if you do that, we're always going to be here for you. I share these experiences not because I want to fucking hurt you, not because I'm trying to make you feel bad. Because I want you to know that on the other side of controlling your thoughts, emotion, actions, and actually being able to drink for the right reasons down the road, is a completely different life than the one you're living right now. But it starts with this choice. As always, I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow on the next episode. Talk to you soon.